Hey guys, Carmel here. And so today we are going to be reviewing Ice Planet Barbarians. So let's talk about it. Okay, so Ice Planet Barbarians. I want to start out before I talk about it. I want to first of all thank everyone for subscribing here lately. My subscribers are going up on the numbers and I want to thank you so much. I also want to say September 23rd of last year I made this channel and so it's been a year. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm, I haven't been the most regular at times but I am working on it. <laughs> um, now Ice Planet Barbarians. So I guess most people have actually heard about this through TikTok. I'm not one of those. I actually heard about it on Instagram. I seen some videos of people talking about it, you know, on romance type books, and then I seen just some photos. And I it piqued my interest. You know, I thought, well, I've never heard of this, and who's this Ruby Dixon, you know, the, the author, and what's she all about? And so anyway, I followed her and I looked up some reviews about the book, and it like I said, it just it made me kind of interested in it. So I started first of all by looking at my library and going on their catalog and I couldn't find it okay next I go to my local bookstore which is books a million they didn't have it I went online on there and it said they had it but then very quickly when I tried to order it they were out so Next, I went to Amazon, and behold, they had it. So, I ordered it. It took a little while for shipping, but I was super happy when it got here, and it's, I mean, it's brand new. Yes, I was so happy when it got here, and it looked really good, and I was very excited to start reading it. So, um, we have Georgie and Vectal. I believe are the two characters. I believe that's how you say his last, or his first name. And if, if they are supposed to be showing the two of them, this is her, Georgie, and this is Bechtel. Um, <clears throat> so Georgie is a regular human girl. She lives on Earth. She has a job. She's a bank teller. Um, she lives alone kind of lives a boring life, you know, everyday type stuff, eats TV dinners, things like that. So one night she goes to bed and when she wakes up, she's been taken. She's been abducted by aliens. And no, these are not good aliens. They are little green mean men. So um, some really bad things happen around her. I mean, some to her, but mainly around her. There are other women that have been abducted, just like her. There's only women that have been abducted. I'm sorry, there's traffic. But anyway, <laughs> so she has been abducted and a lot of things are going on. And, um, you know, she doesn't know like what to think. Well, this one girl, they have put a speaking like translator device in her ear because they couldn't understand anything they were trying to order them to do or tell them. So they gave her that. Well, uh, she kind of informs the other girls and the that girl's name is Liz. But anyway, she kind of informs the other girls of what they're wanting them to do or go where to go or anything. Well, she informs them one day that their spaceship is having issues and that they're going to be, she said the cargo is going to be dropped off. They're the cargo, which made them, you know, panic beyond. So they crash. They crash on this extremely cold planet and they're left in the cold. Like, that's it. They have nothing hardly. They were in their PJs. Like, Georgie was in this little shorts and top. It was what she had gone to bed in. But anyway, they kind of elected her leader. <laughs> um, so she goes out in search of help. She can breathe. You know, it's just really, really cold. But she can she can breathe and walk on the ground. There's, you know, gravity issues, all that. It's, it's pretty good. She can walk around. So she goes for quite a ways. Well, some things happen and she meets Vectal. 
Now, of course, he is um, an alien to her, and she's an alien to him, and they can't understand each other. She speaks English, and he speaks his language. So he has no clue, you know, where she's from or anything. But they call it, um, I think, Kwai. It's K-H-U-I, and it's... Um, I don't want to tell the whole thing, but it's this thing inside them. Anyway, he feels it towards her. And basically, he chooses her as his mate. And, you know, she's like, hasn't known him very long at all. So it's, it's a little weird to her. But um, they end up, you know, helping everyone in the cargo hold. And there's a love interest, of course, between Georgie and Vectal. Georgie uh, finds Vectal kind of strange at first, but then, I don't know, the horns, the tail, his suede-like body, it grows on her, basically. She likes it. So, anyway, um, it's it has a very good plot. I'm actually interested in quite a bit of the story. During their travels, they go into this cave, and he calls it a cave of elders. Well, um... It's basically was another spaceship and this translator thing comes on and is able to translate to English and she finds out, well, Vectal, he's not originally from there either, his people. So you, there's a lot more background. I kind of wish that the author would have shared a little bit more, but I'm hoping maybe in the next, yeah, I'm hoping in the next books, I think there, I believe there's 22 or 23. I think she just came out with another one. I don't know. I'll have to recount. I do want to read the next one. <laughs> um, is this for children? No. This uh, actually has quite a bit of racy scenes. And um, I will let you know, though, Vectal, he's not like um, a lot of human guys. He... He's pretty good. I mean, there are some out there, but he's, he, uh, the author did a very good job at making him a good guy. He's loyal and you're rooting for the couple basically. So I would recommend this, but like I said, it's not for kids, <laughs> but anyway, definitely uh, worth a read. And like I said, I want to read the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry about the traffic. I have no clue how this is going to sound on the recording. But yeah, it's, it's uh, lots and lots of traffic going on right now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.